It's man versus ocean in its rawest form. Look at that! You're kidding. Ross Clark Jones and Tom Carroll are two big wave surfers hell-bent on finding the next big wave to ride. One is a toe-surfing pioneer, and the other a two-time world champion. With the help of surf forecaster Ben Matson, they go to the ends of the earth to find waves no one else has ridden. Ross and Tom live to ride the beast, but how bad is its bite? No one can deny how scary it looks, but how dangerous is your average big wave? Each cubic meter of seawater in this wave weighs just over one ton. The wave itself stands at 10 meters tall and the falling lip is 20 meters wide. So this part of the wave alone weighs about 410 tons, the equivalent of 315 small cars. This huge volume of water is falling at 70 kilometers an hour. Add that to the wave's horizontal speed towards the shore, and you have around a half a million kilograms of water moving at speeds exceeding 100 kilometers an hour. The result is an explosion of water that can plunge a surfer to depths of five or more meters, burst eardrums, and bend limbs backwards. Just hit one big chop. It's a far cry from your local beach break. A lot of guys that surf big waves, they train, they're a lot fitter than me, but they don't have that natural spirit to just go. And it's just a charging mechanism, I think, I don't know. I think photography was just, uh, it, it enabled me to 